Hey friends, good morning. Um, we're going to be playing some Animal Crossing. We're going to fix up that arcade up at the top. And then we're probably going to play Dreamlight Valley after we get that all said and done. So, we'll just jump right into it. No hesitation. Good morning. So we've almost finished our entire island here. Uh, we have it as a restaurant theme. But there's this one little area of the arcade that I wanted to put some some money trees behind and it just didn't work. I didn't leave enough space. So I've got to move everything. So it's going to be quite the undertaking this morning. And I'm going to need a lot of coffee to get it done. Why is this light so bright today? Hopefully we're all having a good weekend. Mine has been full of putting things in boxes. Today's announcements. Let's see, a visitor, nice. Good morning, Cube, good morning, Nightwolf. It is stream time, you're right. We have a visitor staying at the campsite. Not that we need any. We have all of our people and we have the beginnings of at least all of our things. We have a couple that we're probably going to redo their houses completely. Excuse me. Hmm. We got quite a few things. Let's see. Random letter. Got it. Um, okay, we're a rank B. That's not bad. Aw. So what we didn't do is we didn't play uh, on my birthday. Which is okay. At least the game sent us some free stuff for it. We did do this, uh, this Mayday tour, though. That was fun. We're gonna have to put all this stuff in our house real quick. Um, I thought you could use this. Furniture is my thing. And bugs and snacks. Gross. Okay. Alright. What are our gifts? From our mom, we got a cake. Um, interesting. I don't know what that is. Some kind of recipe. Excellent. Bell vouchers. Very nice. Rover's briefcase. Now the bell vouchers we actually got because we managed to get all the, the ones from the um, the little Mayday tour. So that was pretty cool. Alright, who's at the campsite? I gotta know. I'm still waking up, so I'm gonna be taking frequent sips of my coffee, which is in my um, uh, bitch better have my bells mug. So, you know. Gross. You're making coffee now. Nice. Coffee, tea, water, whatever you gotta do. Oh, look at these weeds. We still need to put some stuff out here. I'm thinking maybe those lunch trays that look like really fakey cheap food because it is supposed to be like a, a front. I'm glad we finally put in pathways. I was getting antsy about it. Hmm. I think we should go ahead and get one more, maybe. How many do we have? Hang on. Two, three, four. Oh, actually, we've got plenty. We'll leave this spot alone. All right, to the complete other side of the map. Oh, hello. Can I run an idea by you? I've been thinking about moving. No. No, you can't move, I'm sorry. We can still hang out all the time, no. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, bud, because, uh, no. I think we also missed another villager's birthday. We, we keep missing those. Okay, so the only way we're going to be able to fit the trees behind everything is to move everything forward, like an entire step or two. Because this space has to be open, the next space has to be open, and then I think a third space has to be open. We're going to have to move everything forward one space, or possibly two. And the only way to do that is to either take out these benches or move the 
this ice cream thing. So I'm thinking we might move this, um, but our only way to do that would be probably to move Zucker's house. So let's see if we can put anything down there with the uh, fence line. If we can, we don't have to move anything, but if we can't, we might have to move his entire setup like, literally forward by one space. But we're gonna try for the sake of easiness. Yes, please. Make sure you wear a helmet. Yeah, don't do any major land terraforming without helmet on. That's pretty uh, universal. Ooh, okay. So we do have the ability to put another one here. Oops. We just have to be careful because there's not really a way to do it from the upper end, which is probably my one complaint. Um, if we were able to do it from above, this would be so much easier. Now, I could have started on that end, done it, and then run all the way back. Um, I didn't do that. Either way, we would have to be doing this weird turnaround thing. Basically, oops. I cannot believe I've done this. We're basically just moving everything forward a step, which means we have to recreate everything. Not what I wanted to do at all. Not even a little. There we go. So we essentially have to bring everything forward. We have to bring the land forward. We have to bring the stuff forward. We have to bring the pathway forward gonna be a little involved, but I think it'll be okay. Now the other thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to move these moons, which were kind of a pain to put down in the first place, but I think we'll be okay with this ramp because I think we can just extend these sides. I don't think the ramp will really change much. Um, all the furniture will move, so we'll probably have to keep an eye on this to make sure it's not too far down so that we can't get through here, that kind of thing. So, otherwise we have to move the entire thing, which we can do, it's just eh, a little bit of a pain. All right, so this whole area is gonna get wood covering. It's interesting that we can just kinda spread a wood plank covering on the ground. I don't think that's how it works in real life. I, I really don't think that's true to real life at all. But you know, magic, we live in a place with animals. It might actually be people and we might be delusional. It was a theory that I saw one time. Can I do the next area? Oh, I can, nice. We don't want our customers to uh, lean back in their chairs and fall to their deaths on the concrete below, but uh, I'm not sure that I want to put a fence up is the thing. I mean we could, but I don't think I necessarily want to put a fence up here. We'll just... Uh, Just, you know, filling in all the spaces. Now we do have um, that other one on that corner there. I guess it's over there too. Um, that part switches me up because I'm like, wait, it's on this side, but it's on that side for y'all. I guess we do have to move it over right here. That should be fine. All right, now let's move this. We want to leave enough space to run through here. So I am going to move it forward two spaces, but we may not need both spaces. We do also have to move the shop if we're going to do all this, because otherwise it's going to be hard to bring it all forward. We're going to have to move the shop. We're probably going to have to move this incline 
We might end up having to move Zucker's house. So it'll be a lot of time traveling to get this done. And we were trying to do as little time traveling as possible. But sometimes that's just the way it goes. So. Let me put this somewhere else, I think. Alright, that should leave plenty of space that if our customer fell out of their thing, they wouldn't, you know, crack their head open. Which is the important part. At least we get nice music while we do this. had it like completely stacked up that I'm almost positive that's what it was like I think with two spaces we'll be able to actually do everything we need to because we'll be able to just put it behind just kind of where we wanted them in the first place only problem is this gap right here which is why I'm thinking we may have to move the entire ramp as well because this gap right here its whole issue is that it's gonna be running right into here so we want to leave this gap but I don't know if we're gonna be successful we'll see how did that one ice cream get closer than the others just move the ATM? Hmm. That, maybe? Oh. We're gonna move this one so that we can get back there. Hmm. These we may have to just pick up. You like the big ice cream cones? Nice. They're pretty neat. Uh, we got them in one of the happy home things we were doing. They're actually lamps, so they light up. Yeah, we're probably just gonna have to pick these up. I'm gonna pull this back into place so that I can see where exactly to put the ice cream. Because we had them at these little junctions. There we go. And then we turn it so that you can see both sides of ice cream. And then there it is. That's probably fine. Alright, so we're going to need to move the mountain behind it, but I wanted that space in case I have to move a bunch of stuff around. So. Alright, let's, uh... Hmm. I guess the best way to do it is to just do this whole section. Ah, terraforming. The most unique part of this game, and yet somehow also the most annoying. And now we're trapped. Oh no. Oh, I didn't think that went through. We can't get through here. Whoops. That's fine. We'll just put it back. The magic of putting an entire ice cream cone in your pocket. looks a little less unique now because it doesn't have the thing so we're probably gonna go ahead and slate this for demolition uh, and then move the rest of it I don't think we're gonna have to move the shop if we leave it where it is now because what we'll have to do is move these 
Now we do have the fear that somebody's gonna lean out of these and fall on their heads, but it'll be all right. And as far as this goes, I'm just gonna pick up the last two arcades and move those, and then slide the rest of these forward. And then I'll have to move my little things here. Pick up my little ADD. I'm actually really kind of proud of this area because it turned out exactly what I wanted it to look like. I had a vision in my head, I put something out, and it worked. I hope I just put the right things there. I think I did. Oh, nope, I did not. Okay. These were supposed to be the red ones. Oops. Alright. Fighting game is the blue one. Nope, it's the red one. Okay. Where's the other fighting game? Nope, that's my ADD. My fighting game. Combat game, combat game. There's a fighting game. Alright, and then this side needed the combat game. Because otherwise, you don't have all three colors on both sides. So here's the red, here's the green, here's the blue, and then on this side we've got the blue and the green, or the red and the green. Now we need the blue. Excuse me, ma'am. Please go into place. Oops, not the button I wanted. Okay. See? Honestly, this is one of my favorite sections on the island. Um, of course, I love the fact that we have a restaurant theme and we went for it, but uh, I definitely really appreciate this section. I think it came out really cool. I think that it really just is on the nose for what I was looking for. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. I had uh, at least one of you tell me that it looked like the kind of arcades you'd see in Japan, which was kind of the vibe we were going for. I don't know why I picked this specific style. I think maybe just because it would be recognizable and it would look cool for like what it was supposed to be, you'd know instantly, oh, that's supposed to be like a, a gaming area. So, our other thought process was to put out uh, the simple panels and try to make walls. So that's kind of what the the trees are going to be starting, is that they're kind of a wall right here and there's like decoration. And then I want to put up simple panels that are decorated with like funky material looking stuff. Like when we did the pizza place down at the... Um, the Paradise Island, we had just quite a bit of garish flooring. And that's kind of the idea that I want to do on the walls. It'll look a little less uh, Japanese and probably a little more American, so. All right, I think we definitely moved too many things. I think maybe we were just supposed to move one. I'm not sure. This might be too close now. The ABD is gonna go right here. Uh oh, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. If I put it there, that leaves me enough room back here, I think. I'm gonna try real quick. I can't put it on this last one, but I can uh, make the next one grass and put it on that. Oh, I wish I could see. That would be lovely. We're just gonna have to have faith that we actually clean up this whole section. I don't think we did. I think we missed a spot somewhere. But I don't see it. Oh, there we go. Yes, okay. Oof. Now for our shovel. 
And we know that if we leave it right behind there, it's actually going to overhang over the game. So we are going to move at least one more forward. Um, yeah, that right there should do. Oh, not the tree I wanted. The other thing is we have to have our trees fully grown for them to actually show up. So, whoops. There we go. Basically, we want the money trees to just be behind the games, because I think aesthetically it'll work. The problem is we don't have some of our trees fully grown. So. Alright, and then another money tree. I do still think I want to put a panel in between the tree and the, the game. But I think what that's going to do is it's going to cause the tree to be harder to see. So we may not be able to do that. We may just have to leave the games right here. Or I can move them forward one. Let's see how that looks. We'll just move a couple of them. Because that still gives you this runway right here. But it's not very wide. Yeah, no. I think having them be the background is actually better. Now the one thing we do need to do is we do need to cordon off this section. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me, hey, you just have money trees out. People are going to come steal them. You should be afraid. And I don't like to think that way about the community. But if it's a possibility, it's a possibility. So I do take those uh, warnings seriously. Where did this go? Now all our hard work has to be redone. Hmm. Maybe I could leave it down there. Let's find out. Alright, so that would be the end of that, which means that the bench and the cranes would all stay here, but the ABD would be equal to this, which is not so bad. We're also doing this to see if we're going to need to move the ramp. Um, which is why we're getting everything set up before we start doing all that. Because we want it to be walkable, we want it to be accessible. But, I mean, if we have to move the ramp, we have to move the ramp. Also, this creates a very funky music track. I don't know what's going on here. So once we've gotten this all settled, um, we're probably going to call it done at that point. Um, I don't know if it's going to be considered 100% done, but it's going to be pretty close to done. So that'll be an island that we can have people come and visit. And put up, uh, what you call it, um, dream caves and stuff. What are they called in this game? <coughs> Dream address, that's the one. Nice. Oh. Hello? What are you doing down there? Are you stuck? What are you? Oh, hair, what are you doing? How did you get here? I have the perfect nickname for you. Uh, what is it? Brace yourself. It's... Canapé. What? <laughs> Sir, what? Um, alright. We're gonna... We're gonna learn together. Right? Canapé. It is... Food. He wants to call us food. Okay, what kind of food? Um... From crisp parsnip rolls to mini mushroom wellingtons, these party canapes. So, like, hors d'oeuvres? Is he calling us an hors d'oeuvre? Someone, please. Okay, let's see. A canapé uh, is a type of hors d'oeuvre, a small prepared and often decorative food, consisting of a small piece of bread... Uh, Wikipedia, please. A small piece of bread, sometimes toasted, wrapped or topped with some savory food, held in the fingers and often eaten in one bite. 
So he wants to call us hors d'oeuvre. Um. O'Hare, is that a threat? Is that, is that a threat? Y'all, I think I'm being threatened. Uh, sure. I, I guess that's cool. Amigo, glad to hear it. Let's not waste any time. See you later, Canapé. I think he wants to eat us. And I don't mean in a sexy way. I don't mean in a sexy way at all. Dear fellow Animal Crossing players, have you ever been threatened with consumption uh, by a villager? I don't know if that's a universal experience. Really not sure. Yikes. Okay, so he wants to eat us. He wants us to be uh, an afternoon snack. Like, if he had said crudite, I would have known what it meant instantly. But no, he said canapé. And I'm thinking some sort of canopy. But no. I like how the Mahjong game has, like, a little... kind of sound. Are we gonna have fun? So many money trees. I know! Aren't they great? We're gonna need something to go in these spaces to prevent people from, like, walking back here and getting to them. So, I might just move this whole cart over. And then, of course, we need something back here to prevent people from actually getting up here. And then I have to take down that tree in order to put my final money tree. Um, oh good, I have an axe on me. Bury the axe. Nope. Oh no! Well, we're getting stung. There's no place to hide around here. So... Wow. The first tree we've touched in ages, and it had wasps in it. How is that fair? They just, I guess they wanted the money trees too. That doesn't seem very fair to me. Thanks wasps, I appreciate your contribution to the conversation. Jerks. Oh my god! It's a peachy raid! Hello, hi, how are you? How was your, your stream? I'm holding on to my butt, as requested. Uh, now I gotta remember how to do the thing. Is... He Rose Jen. Thank you, Peachy Rose Jenny. How are you? How was your stream? Hopefully you had a, a good one. What were you playing? Let's find out. Oh no, my shoutout command isn't working for some reason. You played some Animal Crossing too, nice! Why is my bot not doing what it's supposed to? What the heck? What the heck? Try that again. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Mm -hmm. There it goes! You're playing some New Horizons, nice! Were you decorating? Were you just setting up an island? Were you playing Happy Home Paradise? And importantly, are you hydrating? Something we do over here. We hydrate everybody. You restarted the island, so we tried to get some cute villagers. Nice! Yep, we're using money trees to decorate an arcade. I thought it would give a nice touch. Except I think that's all the fully grown ones we have. All the rest of them are very, uh... Mall. Now we are worried about people coming and visiting and kind of taking the money trees. I'm trying to find something creative to do to block off just this back area. Whether I need to put a fencing in here or something, I'm not sure just yet. 
Mostly because people keep warning me. They say, oh, you should hide your money trees because people will steal them. And that makes me sad. I might put like a tree or like a plant or something here. That could work. Maybe a trash can? I could put a trash can there. I don't know if I have a trash can, but I could put one there. We do still need to do one little bit of time traveling, I think. Um, unless we just move these forward. It's like, play it forward. You're gonna have to run. Oh, have a great, great, great time. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm gonna follow you back because that was really sweet of you. But yeah, feel, feel no shame if you need to re raid and run. That is A-OK. -okay. As long as you're taking care of yourself and as long as you're hydrating. Uh, that goes for all of you viewers, too. It's okay if you need to raid and run. Uh, it won't hurt my feelings. I completely understand. But yes, thank you so much for the follow. That was very sweet of you. And it was sweet of you to bring your community over here. Here, please. Let me out. Oh, there we go. Hmm. I wonder if we need to do this. Because now we have space here. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to need more, like, snack stuff here. I'm thinking more drink displays. Possibly more of these actual snack things. I don't know. Because we have some, some vending machines here. Kind of goes with the whole vibe. Oh no, that ice cream is not in the right spot. Ooh, I knew I was going to mess something up. I should end up in the wrong spot after all this time. There. We need to be equal with this one. Please. Where did it go? There it is. Plaroses. There we go. Alright. That should be in place now. Excellent. So our arcade is a little bit unique for this section of the island because the rest of our island is very much restaurant themed. So we've got this little cafe here, we've got our Able Sisters, the little swap meet section. Just kind of stuff you would see on a little island. A little gardening shop. But we're gonna run around and give you guys a brief tour. Ooh, weeds, gross. So this is Peaches' house. Or not Peaches, what's the name? I forget. The pig. Truffles. Truffles? Maybe truffles. So we have a farm to market house. Farm to market. Well, farm to table, really. I don't have a speech prepared for all my people, so. Hi, Truffles. It's been ages. It has not. It has been exactly one week. It's not important to see the world. Just don't forget to hang with me sometimes, okay? So the idea is that she grows all her own food, and then she actually serves it to people. So she grows it, she cooks it. Cute little house. We actually redid that with the help of the DLC. So, because with the DLC, eventually you can uh, change their houses inside and out. So we redid her house. I think the only house we didn't redo is O'Hare's house. His house still looks the same. So his area we're still working on. It's going to take some extensive time travel because we only got one of the carnival stalls when we were actually originally playing all the way through. But we'll have to go back and get another one in a different color, unless somebody has one they want to donate. And then we'll put like drinks and stuff like that out, so. It's gonna be just a little beachside cabana type thing. So, easy peasy. We've got Zucker's house here, which for those unfamiliar, he is a takoyaki. That's what he looks like. <clears throat> so it's a little bit ironic that we have him doing a little food stall because he would be serving himself. Now his house mostly started like this already. Um, we had to redo the inside 
because it was, oh, I guess we should have talked to him. We had to redo the inside because it was this weird, like, city street vendor looking thing. So we changed it up. And we have it extended outside so that he can have his little garden area. I thought about adding a like sand garden or zen garden or something, but I don't know if I'm creative enough to make those lines. And we have tank. Hello. I get distracted when I'm shopping, but the two are the same thing. A portable radio. Nice. You give it away or sell it or whatever. Thanks, tank. The tank has a pizza restaurant with complete with wood oven both inside and out. We need to actually put some pizza out for him, though. We've been neglecting the pizza. Then we have Meringue, who is a rhino that looks like a dessert. She has this nice little garden party here. Very, very fancy. We keep trampling our flowers, but that's okay. And then we have Marlo. Despite all our efforts, he stuck around. He didn't want to move. So we've given him this um, front, basically. And if he wakes up, eventually we'll go look inside his house. We ended up moving our museum. It was pretty recent, and we are still looking for things to complete it. Like, we wanted to complete the T-Rex statue and the Mammoth statue. Have them both outside. And then, of course, our museum itself. Lots of fun so far. Our last two little restaurants, besides our own, um, we have... Marcel, who has just a French bistro going on, and then we ended up with Ketchup, who we gave a diner. I have no idea if she's actually awake or not. Oh, she's out playing. Okay. So we set her house up to look like a diner, and we put some kid stuff outside, because the idea was like it was a kid-friendly place, because that seemed to jive with her personality. And then finally our own, we... Oh, hi, Marlo. Um, we set this little outdoor area up to mimic part of our house. Which I thought was pretty cool. So we have this, of course, dining room area. We're probably the only restaurant that actually has a uh, visible and actually accessible bathroom, which we've set up here. We set ourselves up just a pretty basic kitchen. It's not really much going on there. We could make like a chef's table or something in here, but I don't know if it would make a difference. So. We got our little basic kitchen. Not much going on in there. I do need more trash cans though. I think that's what we're gonna use to block off part of the arcade. And then the infamous room from outside. So we got this wallpaper by accident, and it just seemed like a cool idea to make a, a little outdoor space on the inside of our house, and then we took this concept and we replicated it outside. Which was pretty fun. The flooring isn't quite the same, because I didn't know how to draw it. But I did my best. And finally, for those who haven't seen, we actually have a studio apartment upstairs. So we don't have a basement in our house. We just have this upstairs area. It's a little studio apartment. We added a little section that's like our bathroom. And there's boxes here, just like in my real apartment. Delicious. I think I put too much creamer in my coffee. It's a little sweet. That's okay. All right. Now back to the arcade. Doo -doo -doo. A far run. Oh, I guess I didn't show you one of them. I didn't show you Cherry's house. I was like, oh, that's all the houses, but it's really not. I lied. <clears throat> oh, we can actually go into Cherry's house. Excellent. So we recently added this outside where it is an outdoor bar, but her house is set up to look like a dive bar. With a concert venue outside. 
Oh, and she's cooking something. What you cooking? Haven't seen you in a while. Like one whole week. How have you been? Everyone was starting to miss you. That includes me. I can admit it. Great to see you. What, what? What are you making? Why is your face all gnarly? Who was it? Who were they? Oh, a wasp dung you. Well, that's a sin. She just gotta put, dab a bit of medicine on the sting. So I'll fix you right up. Oh, what are you making? When I hang out, I'll have to wait till I'm done making this tasty mess. What is it? I got hit by a monster-sized craving earlier, so I started making myself some french fries. You wanna make your own? I've got a recipe right here. I'm kinda not using it. Wow. <clears throat> and it looks like you already know it, so, huh. If you don't need it, and you don't need it. Ah, take it with you and pass it on. You know way more folks than I do, plus I'm feeling kinda lazy. <laughs> okay, Cherry. So we've set the inside of Cherry's house up to look like a dive bar. Um, I thought we had put a dartboard in here. Turns out we didn't. We just put one outside. So we may have to fix that later. But we've got a fire extinguisher for if things get rowdy. All these bottles just everywhere. And a messy cracked floor. We need to get some music going in here. So I'm thinking if maybe we can find the... Um, like the KK Rock or something, and get that going. That'd be cool. And then, of course, a little concert area. Oh, I kind of needed my. And then this lake, we didn't design this lake. It just came that way. And it looks kind of like a controller. So it amused me, and I left it alone. All right. Now to figure out how to block off these trees from other people getting to them. Let's see what we got in our shed. What should I do? Uh, first we're going to put some stuff away, because we have some extra stuff we don't need. Like this cake, and these bell vouchers. Uh, we kind of need the painting. We don't need the wood, or this briefcase, or this radio, or the french fries. Hmm. I guess we can keep the. Is it only stacks of 30? I don't know why I thought it was more. Oh well. Well, those are put away. Now let's get some stuff out. Let's see. Alright. What can I put in the corners? I could put a tree. I could put a water cooler. I might put one out just so people can get free water. I don't know if I'm going to leave it in those colors though. Oh wait, I have a white one. Oh, nice. I might put that out and just be like, oh, free water, because people need free water. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? The rest of this is not furniture, so it won't help us. Hmm. I don't think there's really anything else that we can put, necessarily. But, I mean, we could put a salad bar out, like a buffet table, but I don't know. I don't think that would fit the vibe. And we don't really have any more chairs. Wow, we don't have a lot. I think we've used up all of our furniture, for the most part. Now, can I set it to where it goes in this corner? Let's find out. Oh, I guess we don't want the water cooler in the corner. We do want it, like, right here, though. It's the first one or the second one? So that prevents walking through there. So that'll work. Um, we are gonna need to order ourselves probably another slushy machine, and then we need something to go over here and block this off. Essentially, we're going to try to cut off this whole area. So what I could do is I could terraform it a little bit, I think. Not a lot, but a little bit. Nope, okay. That might mess up the tree. Got it. Um, what about this way? Um, I don't think that's gonna help me. I think that actually made it worse. I think if we leave it out, maybe I can put a fence up or something? I don't really have a lot of fences, though. Hmm. 
We'll have to find out. Third bat, because it looks more natural. Alright, where is my little DIY bench? And I'm gonna have to get some stuff out of our storage, but I want to see what kind of fences we can make first. And what we'll need for them. Other... Alright, do we do the vertical board? Do we do... Like an iron fence, maybe? Park fence? Spooky fence. We do hedges. I'm not sold on it, though. A brick fence. Hmm. I guess the brick fence would be the best aesthetically, but I don't know. I'm not sold on it. We did make some before. But what fences do we already have? That's the real question. Nope, that's a water cave. Alright, what should we do? Get something out. Um, fences, fences, fences. Do I have any fences left? I do, okay. I do have this iron fencing. We could try it with that. Or the brick, or the simple. Not the zen, I don't think. Um, I might want to have wanted to put the fencing out first. The fencing might be the issue. Alright, let's see. Put the fencing out. We'll do simple wooden fencing. Let's see if I can. Oh, I can. Nice. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. This is going to be interesting. What I may have to do is I may have to give myself some escape routes. Um, basically like this. But I'm not sure how I'm going to get it into these holes next to the vent. Or next to the trees. So... Let's see. Let's find out. Alright, so we build a fence. Say we build it here. And then I can't get around. Okay. Got it. What if I built it here? I know I can stand here and build, but I don't think I can build over there on the tree. Mm. Okay, so now I need to go <laughs> gather a bunch of food. Um, Daisy Mae's around here somewhere, so we can just gather some turnips from her. We're gonna pick back up all our trees, but I'm gonna leave the holes so that I know where they're supposed to be. For the most part. We may clean up some of the holes so we can find them, or so that we can navigate around them. But we'll see. Ooh. Gotcha. I don't think this fencing that I'm trying to use to guide where it's going to go, I don't think that's going to be our final fencing. But it's a good starter fence. Hello truffles. Where is the little miss? There she at. Now we have to search our entire island for a tiny boar. That's always fun. You know, I am glad that games like Dreamlight Valley have introduced a map that tells you where everybody is at all times. Uh, seems a little weird that it tracks them, but it's certainly a lot more helpful than me searching our entire island to try to find this little child. I just wanted to buy turnips, and yet she is nowhere to be found. Let's see. It is still before noon, so she is definitely still here. We I mean, just have to find her first. Now, if we get too desperate, we'll probably just buy some or pick some fruit and eat the fruit. But it's Marlowe. Hmm. I wonder what he's doing in our place. Ooh. Nice. 
There's ketchup. Hi, ketchup. Where is the little child? I don't know. Every time you see my island, it's so cute. Well, thank you. We've done our best to keep it mostly natural, um, which apparently includes all the weeds, although that was not my intention. But I don't know. Maybe if I had added more pavement and stuff, it would look a little less. All right, I didn't find her any of the normal places. Time to check all the back places. Let's see. Where, oh where, is Daisy May? Most of these places she couldn't have got to, so where is she? She's swimming? Where is she? Did I miss her? Did y'all see her? Are we just like, barely away from her or something? Of course it would be the time that I need her that I can't find her. We've been so fixated on moving this stuff that we have no idea where she went. Hmm. Oh, hello. There she is. I don't know how we were unable to find her before, but we have finally found her. Yes. Yes. Ooh, 90 bells. What a good price. We sell them in bundles of 10. Uh, 10 please. 10 turnips comes to 900 bells. Yes. That'll be fine. Thank you kindly. Try to earn a nice surprise. Uh, no, I'm just gonna eat them, but thanks. I wonder if she knows that. Because she's selling turnips to encourage the stock market and all that. Which is great. But all we do is eat them. Like, every time I buy them from her, it's so that I can eat them and get 10 points. Because, uh, for those who don't know, that's actually the easiest way to, uh, move your stuff around. You just eat 10 turnips in one go, instead of eating 10 individual fruits. So, actually really handy. Now, you can't just keep them around, because they will expire, and yada yada. You know, I get it. But also... When you can, it's a great way. Oops. Get rid of that hole. I don't think we're gonna get rid of our nursery ones. I think we'll just try to build in space for them. But I'm not sure where yet. Alright, so we need to set up some sort of fence on this back end so that we can put our trees back in place. I'm glad we find us found a spot for them. That's pretty cool. Let's see, iron fencing. I'm sacrificing this hole right here real quick. Oh, the iron fencing might work. Hmm, this is gonna cause some problems, this little curve here. But I guess technically you can't get through it, so that's okay. Am I just against the tree? What's happening? Alright. Can I get through here? No. Okay. So the unfortunate side effect um, of needing to do all this is that I do want to see... Well, not side effect. Side effect was the wrong word. The unfortunate side effect of having some people that are untrustworthy in the community, which I would say it's a very, very, very small chance. I don't think it's really a big worry. But to err on the side of caution and to just try to give it an extra vibe, uh, we are going to go ahead and put a fencing up. So first step is to see if any of our fences can be changed in color, which I guess I could have done on my own. But I think I'd rather pay bells and have somebody else do it. So we're going to go visit Harvey's Island. We haven't done that in a while. Welcome to Brunch Airport. How can I help you today? 
Um, I want to fly. Where are we going? Harv's Island. How'd you that good, buddy? Yes. Oh, he's gonna yell about our cat. I'll go ahead and shut it down for you. That's fine. Appreciate your patience, pal. Kind of chilly in here this morning. I wonder what's up with that. I definitely turned off my AC because it was already making me cold when I got out of bed. All right, so off we go. We are going to grab some hopefully different colored fencing so that we can uh, finish up our arcade. All right, can you change up my fence? Yes. Um, the iron fencing, I guess. Hmm. Ooh, this is the hard part. White, black, orange, blue, yellow, green, red, and light blue. Hmm. I'm thinking probably the black, maybe the blue? I guess we could do yellow since we've got the money trees, but I don't know. I'm trying to think of the black. It's simple, it'll go with everything, it won't clash too much with the arcade systems. Hey, Cyrus. All right, now our next trial will be to try to set up some of these and then try to put the trees down. If we can put the trees down, great. We'll be cooking with oil. If we can't, we're gonna have to move everything another step back. Which, you yeah, know, not that great. Yeah, let's go. Pack snacks and make tracks. That's my motto for going to work every day. Pack snacks and make tracks. Our poor face. We just had to take out that pine tree. It is a little funny that the wasps don't react if you uproot the tree, but if you try to shake it or cut it down, it uh, they get mad. It uh, knocks them out of their home. So, But uprooting a tree, just completely putting it in your pocket, wasps and all, they don't care. I guess we could have done yellow because of the moons. I didn't think of that. All right, back to the iron fencing. Uh, this is gonna go like right here, I guess. And as we've already discovered, there's not really a way to get up there, so I'm not really worried about that. Come on. You have to stand in the exact right spot, otherwise it won't work. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Now let's try putting a tree down with the fencing right there. Can it be done? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Um, I know I said we were going to leave the guide holes, but it's much harder to put the fencing up, so we're just going to have to take them out. And then we'll fix our machines here in a minute, because we do need those to be in a that's not what I wanted to do at all. What button did I press? Oh. I pressed the button that would remove my quick thing. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to open my inventory. I pressed the wrong button a lot. Because <laughs> I don't pay attention to what button I'm supposed to press. I'm sorry. Alright. Let's get cooking with oil. And then, once we finish this project for the day, we're probably going to switch over to Dreamlight Valley at that point. Because um, I've seen a lot of people doing some design stuff with all the new uh, star path that they had that wasn't that long ago. And it seems really cool, and it kind of inspired me to want to actually decorate my island, or my valley, a little bit. Even though, I don't know what we'll do with it. So, I think that'll be fun. I think we'll make it a decorating kind of day. Just make it laid back and fun. Nothing stressful. 
When did I uproot a night tree? Or an apple tree? I remember doing that. Is that a spot? I have no idea. The snacks are in the way. How good it is. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't doing it at first. Oops, not the nursery. Regular. And then turn right here. I think it's gonna make it look really cool. And I think it's gonna protect it from anybody that would want to hurt it. Because we have had it happen a couple times where people have come to visit. Um, like, we'll open the gates and people will come to visit and they'll, you know hit a money tree or they'll say hey can i hit a money tree and it's like yeah you know not a big deal it's not like we needed the money but oh thank you thank you so much and it's not really even necessarily like we needed the bells it was just you know i had them for aesthetic purposes and it's kind of sad when you work hard on an aesthetic and then somebody comes in and messes with it it was technically worse in new leaf um, because people could, could just come in and use their their shovels and trample your flowers and all that fun stuff, so. I'm glad that you actually have to give people permissions now. Hey, can you call me Tiffany, please? Okay, Tiffany, no worries. Welcome in. Tiffany, have you ever played Animal Crossing? Any of them? I know a lot of people's first Animal Crossing was actually New Horizons, um, but I've been playing them since way back in the day. So, I'm kind of a veteran at Animal Crossing. You're addicted to the game? Nice! I am also addicted to cozy games in general. Not necessarily just Animal Crossing, but quite a few of them. Hmm, this is still bugging me. Maybe I should move these forward a little. I'm not sure. I am going to move the benches back onto this piece here. Hmm. I wonder if this is too close. Alright, now we need some stuff to fill in this gap. Um, there is a fence line right here, so that should be okay. It's just this gap. That is all we need. Maybe another one of these drink things? Maybe in a less obnoxious color. Or I guess I could put the popcorn thing there. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really like it here. I don't think it works. I think I need another drink thing, and we'll put it here. Or I need to move this over. That might be the solution. it just a little bit over. Grab these. Because I think the water cooler now blocks that off enough, so. Let's see. Store shelf. It actually took us forever to get these shelves. I was actually really upset about it. So, we finally got them in a build um, that we were doing on Happy Home Paradise. And it was was the most fun I think I've ever had because I was so excited just to see the shelf that I couldn't think of anything else all right I think maybe putting another shelf here will be the end of it otherwise it'll look unbalanced so we just need a store shelf to finish that off and then I think most of the island will be done But I need to order one, so I guess we'll have to skip ahead a day and then somehow skip a day back so that Dreamlight Valley doesn't get mad at us. That's the thing. Anybody who's looking forward to Dreamlight Valley and time traveling in that game, beware because it can completely brick your game. All right. Um, Nook Shopping. Special goods. I need a store shelf. 
when we were unable to find them for a very long time, I thought maybe we just didn't have the right name or we needed them to be like crafted or something, but nope. Just turns out we were unable to find it because we just hadn't gotten it yet. Thank you for your patronage. What's in the box? Oh, a lot. Yikes, okay. We really gotta clean the box out more. A sapling? I don't need one of those. I'm still not sure where we got an apple tree. Did we have those somewhere and I just forgot? And we'll check the bird. Um, oh, another birthday. So first it was ours this past Tuesday. Then apparently yesterday was tanks. And the 11th will be cherries. That's kind of neat. We don't usually play on those days, though. We really only play Animal Crossing on Sundays now, because we've gotten so far. I think if we hadn't started out with a no time travel rule, where we just weren't time traveling at all until very, very recently, then we probably would play this game more than on Sundays. A magazine rack. Interesting. Maybe that could go. How do I make one? Let's craft. Let's see. Oh, not what I thought. I thought it was like a shelf where you could like buy magazines from. I did not think it was this small little thing. So. That's no fun. All right, let's put these away. I think the one little cheaty thing I'm gonna do before we actually move the time forward is I'm going to go ahead and go get our fossils because I think we need to grab our fossils and try to get extra ones. Pick up our stuff and then we're gonna go fossil hunting. Now we know there's a couple over there. I think there was one over here somewhere. I don't remember where exactly back here. There it is. Now some of these might be gyroids. That is entirely possible. But I'm hoping that we get lucky and it's just fossils. That's how will we finish our museum without fossils. And not even the inside, just the outside decor. I don't know. Oh, a gyroid. It's a boingoid. Nice. Let's see. And before we switch games, I'm definitely getting more coffee because I need it. I thought there was another one over here. Did I misremember? Probably. I know there's one there. Is it over here maybe? Oh, there it was, okay. Fossils show up in the weirdest places. It makes you wonder, how did all these fossils get here? Like, there's no way that this island has this many fossils underneath it. Or buried, or however you want to call it. There's just literally no way. So, how does that work? It's never really explained in the previous games, and it's definitely not explained in this one. Um... How exactly do all the fossils get here? Wow. And because we were hunting that, we saw our other fossil. Nice. Alright, let's see. How many is that? Uh, four. Okay, so I think we've got one more we can grab. But I don't remember where it is. I definitely want to add more stuff to our pathway up to the museum. I think that maybe having um, something here that's like museum themed would be nice. I'm just not sure what. I don't know if it should be more fossils, 
if it should be like some fish that we caught or how we should do it. And I think I'm the only person who finds it amusing that the white lilies are near uh, Marlo's house because white lilies are a funeral flower. And I think if I didn't explain that, only a handful of you would know. I will say, uh, don't like the new run all the way to the museum. That is definitely not fun. Oh, my bones are trying to fall asleep on me. Oh dear, pardon me. Good morning, Cece. Welcome to the Brunch Museum. How may I be of service? Same thing he always says. I'm all a flutter. All five of these fossils. Please tell me I have a piece of mammoth or T-Rex or something. You must exercise restraint and return them to you now. May I help with anything else? I'm good. Hmm. I wonder what we could use to line this whole walkway. I thought about maybe putting the little lights that go in the ground and like lighting up the area. But I don't know. I don't know if that would really do much. All right, a diplo tail. I think we already had one. Yep, we already had a diplo tail. Um, that's a caudal right wing, a diplo skull. Okay. So we need a diplo torso to finish off the diplo. Terra body and a shark tooth pattern. So if we are gonna do a diplo, we are gonna need the uh, ooh, a large cafe table. We're gonna need the torso, and I think we have one, but I do not recall. Uh, where's my storage shed? There it is. I'm used to them being at the front of my, my list, because I try to make sure they get put back there, but... Alright, do I have any fossils in here? I don't actually remember. Fossils? Anything? Something? Creatures? Oh! Oh! Let's see... Uh, everything, I guess. Um, I think they would be with the... Maybe the outdoor stuff? I don't remember where they would be. Now that I think about it. I think they'd be, like, in here, essentially. I've got this. Put that outside. Priceless artifacts outside. That could work. Um, nope. Alright. Well, we tried. We are still looking for the T-Rex head. I think the head is the last piece we needed, because this is the torso. So with the head, we'll be done with him, and then I think with the torso, it's the end of the mammoth. Um, with the Diplo, we have managed to get two of the pieces. But I don't know how big he is. Oh, but how big is the Diplo? Diplo skull? Hmm. Yeah, he would need like this area here if we were gonna put him on the path. Hmm. At least we've got a skull and a tail so far, so maybe we can find the rest of them next time. But for now, we're going to advance the time so that we can get that last piece. That way we can finish up the arcade. Yes. We're going to get our last piece, put it in place, maybe check for more fossils. And then we're probably going to switch over to Dreamlight Valley for a little bit. 
I think one of the main reasons that I wanted to switch Dreamlight Valley to Sundays is because we usually play in the mornings on Sundays and our normal days are in the evenings. So there are certain characters that we just have not been able to um, talk to or see or try to interact with or any of that because they are all asleep. The game just decides they're going to sleep during the evening and we never get to see them. So it's not very fun because it's like well you know I, I have to progress with these characters and I have to get more friendship with them that's why it took us so long to get Prince Eric because Ursula was just never awake when we stopped to play so ooh it's stormy outside I didn't even notice hopefully the storm doesn't affect uh, our gaming too much All right, Animal Crossing, you can load any time now. Anytime. Whenever you're ready. One of these days, it'll actually load all the way. Animal Crossing, we're only here for one thing, please. Now we could have gone to the Happy Home Paradise Island and ordered it from there, uh, but it still would have taken an overnight trip. So it ends up the same. Oh, neat. Kix is here. Might as well see what he's selling. Now, I could put off Dreamlight Valley. I could go do something else instead. But, ooh, mom sent us something. Wandering season is upon us. Hmm. Um, thank you for buying so many turnips. I'm gonna send you a special recipe straight from Graham Graham. Aww. All right, Daisy Mae, let's see what this Bram Bram recipe was. Oh, it's in a present box. It's jarred bamboo shoots. Nice. Uh, that has nothing to do with turnips, so I don't really see why she would teach us that. But, okay. Ooh, Mom's nap stack. I got a new backpack. Speaking of new backpacks, hi, Kix. What you got today? Let's see, slippers, kimono sandals, some billy brogues, uh, frilly knee socks, uh, traveler backpack, school bag, a zen clap purse. Interesting. Not a singular thing I wanted. That's okay. Hey, sucker. All right. Now we're gonna be a dirty, dirty cheater, and we're gonna pick up the fossils that we come across. Cause why not? What is that buzzing? Oh, I'll talk to them later. I don't know if y'all even heard that. I like that the way <laughs> I like that the way you like it. Uh, I like the way that the music changes between the different hours. I think that's actually a really nice touch. I think that it uh, kind of brings an extra layer to the game in the sense that you can feel like the day is actually passing. But uh, I imagine it wouldn't be as fun for people who were playing large stretches at a time, like you were just sitting there and gaming for eight hours straight, uh, and the music would change every hour, it's kind of a reminder that you've been playing for an hour. Probably not, though. That's probably not how it goes. Alright, where'd this torch shelf go? There we go. Alright. 
I think it is actually different from the others. So that's cool. So I think that section is done. I think our arcade is finally finished. Which is nice. Very, very nice. Just running around looking for fossils. No big deal. You gotta run in all the grass areas is the thing. I guess technically some of the and areas too, but only because they extend into the grass areas. Hello, Zucker. What are you sniffing? Was that a broom? I don't know what that was. I think it was a broom. Dang, we're almost done. Yes. However, uh, we have a new goal for our fossils, <laughs> which is Yahoo! that we are trying very, very hard to put um, fossilized dinosaurs outside. Okay, come on. Now I know my ability to... I know my ability to dig things up is not that bad. Oh, it's because it was a gyroid. It was never meant to be dug up. I see, I see. That's what it prevented us for. I think next Sunday we might work on the campsite because we had a whole beachside campsite idea and then we didn't do anything with it. So I think that'll be our project for next weekend, is that campsite. Because I've seen some really cool campsites, and I'm kind of sad that I haven't done anything with mine. All right, how many fossils did we grab? Oh, enough that our pockets are full. Interesting. Well, if we find the last one, I'll just bury one of the gyroids. You're okay. Wow, that's a lot of weeds. Ooh. We really got a garden better. Oof, look at them all. They're just growing with no hesitation. Alright, one vault across the water. Any fossils here? Oh, there's a flower there. There won't be a fossil. Hmm. The trees hide them sometimes, so that's why I'm trying to like look behind the trees. I don't think they spawn back here. Hmm, no, I think they'd be alright. Huh. So we only found four fossils. That's a little weird. There's definitely supposed to be five a day. Thought. Maybe I'm mis mistaken. Maybe there isn't a fifth fossil. Hmm. Oh well. But yeah, the only reason we're looking for fossils right now is because we're trying to complete these two pieces. So we need a mammoth tail and a T-Rex skull. I think are the two pieces we're missing. So. Oh dear, pardon me. Uh, assess some fossils, please. One, two, three, and four. Oh, we already have all of them. Fantastic. Still nothing new to donate, which is also really sad. Spino tail. Iguanodon tail, Diplo pelvis. Huh, okay. Maybe he's got four pieces? And the ammonite. Okay, so we have a tail, a skull, and a pelvis. I think he also has a torso. So, maybe the Diplo is four pieces. So if we were to put him out here, we would definitely have to put him over here along this pathway here and kill all these flowers, which I'm not opposed to. Oh, Dominic will steal your bells. He really will. Especially because I have a mug that says, uh, bitch better have my bells. And it's got Tom Nook on it. <laughs> and also, thank you for the follow. Aw, 
All right, so no luck on finishing those fossils that we were looking for, unfortunately. But we're gonna sell all the extras and then we're going to wrap this up and head over to Dreamlight Valley. Or maybe we won't, I don't know. I wanna head to Dreamlight Valley because I wanted to get some of that done, especially since like I was saying before, we only really get to play in the evenings usually, just because of the way we had it set up. So we never really get to uh, actually interact with some of the people, and that's kind of sad. We needed to sell anything else. I guess maybe this water cooler. Look at all the fine things. $30,000, that's all we got. Darn. We also accessed our bells. Alright. Let's do one last check. Make sure there's nothing else we wanted to do for the arcade. And then we'll wrap it up. I want to do a thing, but what? Okay, distraction. What do you want? I got in a fight over sharing snacks with Marlo. I want to make up so we can eat snacks together, but what if Marlo hates me now? Can you deliver a present for me? Uh, Alright. I don't know where Marlo is, though. How am I supposed to find it? Can you deliver it today, maybe? I suppose. Oh, is he in his house? Ooh. We didn't get to show off his house earlier. Nice. We actually get to see inside. Hey, I'm gonna give you a... Th Oop. I didn't show that off. Glad to know you're still being... We're still neighborly. Stop by again soon, all right? I will not. Something up. Delivery. Eh? It's for me? Uh, yeah. It says for Marlo on it. Zucker sent me a gift. Didn't reckon we was on speaking terms with everything and all. What is it? Well, I guess I might as well crack it open. Will you look at that? It's a barista uniform. I don't say this about a lot of stuff, but I really like the style. Maybe I should try it on right now. I guess. Alright, I'll try it on. How is it? Hmm. Not too good, huh? Uh, it's okay. Yeah, well then maybe I'll just keep it on so I can get used to it. Darn. He's supposed to stay in that little tux. Sucker was that concerned. Not like him at all. I guess I'm the immature one. Thank you for making that delivery for me, Cece. Reckon I can go try and patch things up with Sucker now. My bathrobe. Consider it a reward, okay? I will not. That's gross. Hope you like it, Gibish. I don't. Uh, please. Alright, so we made his house a restaurant. It's got this little door here. Or at least, it's kind of a door. That leads to the inside. Because his entire restaurant is actually a front. All he does is take things out of the fridge and either heat them up in the oven, cook them in the microwave, and then serve it to people. Nice. I actually really enjoyed his build, and I thought about doing it in Happy Home Paradise so that I could actually expand it and work on it a little bit more. But... Yeah. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. All right, checking on the arcade real quick. All right, so we've got our snack stall stalls. Um, we've got these blocked off pretty well so nobody can get to the mine trees. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know it did that. You don't win anything, but it tries to grab it for you. Oh, wait. It tried. Aww. That would have been really 
really cute. Like, if it could actually win things, and it just, like, gave you a little stuffed bear for you to be like, look what I got, I better put it back, or something. Like, that's really cool. I didn't know it did that. There's our ATM. Here's our drink thingies. I'll probably get more drink thingy, like a drink and snack machine to put on the other side, too. So that people can get it from either side. All right. So that is all for that. All right. Let's wrap it up. Let's fix our time so that Dreamlight Valley doesn't have a heart attack. And then we will go decorate over there. And while Dreamlight Valley is loading up and taking its sweet, sweet time, uh, I'll be able to change the, the title and everything. Or the, well, not necessarily the title, but the, uh, the game info. Oh no, I do need to fix the title, because I said something about a uh, an arcade. But since Dreamlight takes forever to load, we will just get it loading, and then I will go do that. Yes, more decorations. Here we go. that ever loads. Come on. Button, continue. All right. There we go. Everything should be updated. Hope you're all ready for more Dreamlight Valley. We haven't played since last week. Um, I believe it was last. No, it wasn't last Thursday. Maybe it was. I don't remember. We tried out Ooblets this past Thursday. You're ready? Nice. Uh, we tried out Ooblets this past Thursday, so we didn't play Dreamlight Valley like we normally do. And I think it was the Thursday before that that we actually last played this game, so... We're just gonna switch it up a little bit. 